everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 16A. We're going to start by moving in duple meter. Do, day, do, chant, macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. I chant micro beats, you chant divisions. Do day, do day, do day, switch. Do to data, do to data, do to data, do to data. I'll chant a pattern, you name the function. Do day, day, do to data, do. Elongation. Do day, do ta to do day. Rest. Do day, 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 do today. Tie. Do day, do day, do ta to do. Division elongation. I'm going to sing a song called The Pug. Go ahead and move to the macro beats and the micro beats while I sing this song. And I'm just going to keep checking myself because we're getting some new songs that I don't know as well. Join me, join me. I don't think we've learned this song together, so I'll just sing this by myself. This is called Rocking. After I'm done, I'd like for you to name the tonality and the starting tone. So while you're listening, listening, you can move gently, you can sway back and forth, or you can move like you're rocking a baby. And I'm gonna go ahead and look at this one. I'm not audiating it yet. Let me look at the correct one. So what was the tonality of that song? I'll sing it one more time. That's major tonality. Can you sing the starting tone syllable? patterns in duple meter. These are going to be some more upbeat patterns. So make sure you breathe while I'm still chanting and I'll try to give you enough space at the end of the pattern to do that. Day do day day do to day to do. Day to do day day to do day. Day do ta ta do day do ta day do. Day do. Day do. Day ta do day do day. Day ta do ta ta do ta ta do day ta do. Ta day to do day, ta day to do day. Ta day to do ta, ta do day, do day. We're going to skip the song to sing and go ahead and come to the keyboard. So get yourself set up, get yourself to a keyboard, sit nice and tall. Check your distance. We're going to look at the first page of Unit 16. We just have a couple things for keyboard geography and technique this time. 
So looking over at the left side of the page, we're looking at number one. We're going to play the roots of the tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords in C and G major, and we're going to play them in two different ways. So the first way, you're going to use your pinky on the tonic. We're going to play in C major. So tonic is your pinky, and then subdominant is then going to be in your pointer finger, dominant will be in your thumb, and then back to tonic in your pinky. Go ahead and play those with me. Now we're going to play it in a different way in your hand. It'll be the same order of chords, but the tonic is now going to be in your thumb, Subdominant then will be in your pinky because we're doing fa below do. Dominant is in your ring finger now, and then tonic in your thumb. So let's go ahead and play them that way. Tonic is going to be in your pinky. That means subdominant will be in your pointer, dominant in your thumb, back down to tonic in your pinky. Let's play those together. Now we're going to play them with the tonic in your thumb, which means subdominant will be below in your pinky. That's what that number one is talking about. Go ahead and keep practicing that every day just so you get used to those two ways. There are different ways, but those are our first two ways to play tonic, subdominant, and dominant roots. Either having your pinky on the tonic or having your thumb on the tonic. They fit nicely in your hand either way. So with those in mind, we're going to go back to G major. We're going to use the roots of the tonic, subdominant, and dominant chords. So I'm going to come down here. And we're going to play Old MacDonald. You could play it here, you could play it up here. We're going to play this in G major. Remember, Old MacDonald starts on Do, and it goes immediately to. Do, 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 so, which means you're not going to want do in your thumb. Let's put do in your ring finger or yeah, probably your ring finger. Then you can open your hand later. So go ahead and practice that if you need to start in your ring finger and then as you go up to the bum, 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 you'll end up on your middle finger, and then you go back to your ring finger. You could leave your middle finger on Do the whole time, but that's only if your hand is a little bit larger, and it probably will still feel a little bit better to start on your ring finger. So go ahead and practice that, starting with G is Do. Now we're going to go ahead and put some roots to that. It's been a while since we've done this together. Do, fa, do, so, do. Do, fa, do, so, do. Go ahead and play at least the roots with me. Now I'm doing the tonic in my pinky. In a minute, we're going to go back and do the tonic in your thumb, just so you can try it both ways. So play at least the roots. If you can play the melody as well at the same time at this moment, that's wonderful. If not, you'll play them both together presently. 
Do they do play with me? Now I'd like for you to try playing the roots with your thumb on the tonic. the roots. You don't have to play hands together yet. Do they do play with me? If you just needed to listen during that, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and practice those roots now. Practice them both ways, starting with your pinky on the tonic and then with your thumb on the tonic or the other order and then make sure you play hands together. So go ahead and try those things. So those are the two keyboard geography and technique things that we're practicing for today. For the exploration, creativity, improvisation, we're gonna stay over on this left side of the page. We'll save the project on the right side for unit 16B. So number one, audiate a slow triple meter rhythm pattern and then improvise with the pattern. So this is anywhere that you want to be, any key, any notes that you want to play. Do da do 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 it as many times as you want, anywhere you want to be. Continue to think about our compositional devices of variation, repetition, and contrast. So in this case, I started with one idea, you know, whole tone scale that was moving mostly one direction. The second pattern, I came the other direction. Third pattern, I repeated my first pattern. And the fourth one, I changed the rhythm just a little bit at the ending so I could have some kind of conclusion. So that's not a model for how you have to do it, but there's an example of a way that you could do it. So pick anywhere on the piano, any keys, just do a slow triple meter rhythm pattern as many times or as few times as you want to play, thinking about those devices. Here you go. Make sure every day you do something different. I would try different tonal elements. Try some things with chromatics. Try some things with clusters. Try some things with major tonality, with minor tonality, starting in different keys. So try a variety of things with the slow triple meter rhythm pattern. Then for number two, improvise with chromatics in one hand and whole tones in the other hand. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to do a really fast triple. Do da do 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 da do do do. Sounded like a cute idea to start out. So do something somewhere with chromatics in one hand and whole tones with the other hand. You can have notes playing at the same time, clusters, chunks, you can have all one note at a time. So figure out what you want to do. Go ahead and try something with that. A lot of these are really just designed to try to expand the improvisation that you're doing. So you don't always stay in C major see what kind of melody you can do there. Expand out, try other things. It doesn't always have to be tonal. There are amazing things that you can come up with without doing that. All right, so moving right along, we're gonna do another thing that's not in your book. So here's some improv that you don't have sitting there. Uh, we're gonna contrast some duple meter and triple meter rhythm patterns. So this is reminiscent of some things that we did back at the end of book two. 
So we're going to move to macro beats at a moderate speed, audiate duple meter micro beats, so do day, do day, do day, do day, chant a four macro beat duple meter rhythm pattern, do day, do, do day, do. Continue moving to the same macro beat. Remember, you need that energy that I was forgetting in each beat. Audiate triple meter micro beats. Do da -de do, do da -de do. Chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern. Do da -de do, to de do, to de do. Continue moving. Repeat step one. Back to our duple. So do ta ta do day do day ta do. After a short bit, think in triple. Do ta dee ta do da dee do ta 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 do. Then you can play a four macro beat duple meter rhythm pattern followed by a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern. If you can, keep a hand moving. That'll help keep you honest. I'm trying to rock back and forth and move. That might be a little much, so you could just do this. This is probably easier to watch anyway, so I'm not continuing to be blurry and make the camera really focus. So, do, day, do. Then also, as you're doing this, going back and forth between duple and triple meter, you can experiment with dynamics. So go ahead and go back and forth between duple and triple, starting by just chanting. Then keep your macro beat going. Try to do some things where you play a duple meter rhythm pattern, audiate your triple micro beats, play something in triple, and then go back. All right, so go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and do some review. So turn backwards to unit 15, starting with our keyboard skills, all of the harmonic minor cadences. So this was a large project from unit 15. We did this just in our very most recent video, our very last video. So today, what I'd like for you to review is the tonic dominant arpeggios and then the tonic subdominant arpeggios. So forget the ones on the bottom, tonic, subdominant, dominant. We'll do that next time as review. So this week, tonic and dominant and tonic and subdominant. So we're getting those two together. So let's play three different minor tonic and dominant chords. So let's do D minor to start. Before you start, think about your tonic chord and think about your dominant chord. A major chord built on your dominant note. Minor chord on the tonic, major chord on the dominant. And then let's go ahead and play those. So that's for D minor. If you didn't play with me just now, go ahead and play. Let's do F minor. So our F minor chord for tonic. La, do, mi. It's going to be the root of our major chord for dominant. Here we go. with me just now, go ahead and play those in F minor. Alright, let's play in E flat minor. This is one of our oddball minor chords. And then La, do, mi. Our dominant is a major chord, B flat major in this case. And then back to tonic. Let's do it. Play those if you didn't play with me just now. Then let's go 
ahead and look at some of the subdominant, tonic and subdominant chords. So let's play an E minor. So go ahead and find your tonic chord in E minor. And then subdominant. It's the note of the scale in between Do and E. In your right hand, it'll be in your ring finger. And then we have a minor chord built on that. If you didn't play with me just now, go ahead and play those in E minor. Let's do one in C sharp minor. By the way, notice if you're having trouble finding Re, First of all, you can play the scale, play the pentascale. You can also notice that if you find la, do, mi, re is a whole step away from do, do, re, and a whole step away from me. Mi, re. So it's exactly in between do. Our, our subdominant chord built on Re, a minor chord built on F sharp in this case. Let's go ahead and play those arpeggios. And one more, let's do B flat minor. So we play our chord. just now go ahead and play those in B flat minor so this week every day play at least three different tonic dominant tonic arpeggios in different minor keys and then maybe the next day play at least three different minor tonic and subdominant arpeggios so tonic and dominant one day tonic and subdominant another day Keep going through different keys so you're not just playing in A minor, D minor, and E minor. Make sure that you're continuing to play in keys that start on black keys, continuing to play in the B and B flat, the ones that, I said that's major, the ones that have our oddballs. So continue playing in some of these more challenging keys, and that's what you're reviewing for those this week. Now. For the tonic subdominant tonic, this is pages 47 to 48, when do is A and when la is F sharp, here's what I'd like you to add. For the melodic cadences, please add separated and connected styles and sing syllables. So for A major, the separated style. voice it's going to be if you're a female especially it could be quite high or quite low so if you're having trouble just give it a try or at least audiate the syllables if you're a gentleman and your voice has changed this may fit wonderfully in your voice and you may be saying oh finally I can do something that actually fits so if you're having trouble fitting it in your voice do your best if you can't sing a note um, either give yourself more breath support so you can get out a high note or just imagine the note if it's a little too low to sing. Then for, go ahead and do those three things in A major. For the arpeggios, what we're adding is connected style. And make sure that after you've 
played those, you sing the syllables by just playing the roots. Do, 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 do. You can also sing. Do, 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 do. So you can sing up and then down to fa and back up. Find a way for that to fit in your voice. There will be a way for that to fit. So go ahead and do those two things in A major. Make sure you mark today's date on the connected style. And then for tonic, subdominant tonic, when La is F sharp, we're going to do the same things. So separated and connected style and sing the syllables. Let's go ahead and play separated style. Make sure you do this in each hand. that's over on the right side. If it's not, do the other fingering if that's just too large for your hand. And then sing the syllables. Go ahead and do those three things in F sharp minor. And then this should be easy because this fits right along with what we've been doing in all the different keys. This is our tonic subdominant tonic arpeggios in F sharp minor. sure you sing. The roots by themselves. Mark down connected style with today's date and then look backwards at unit 14. So we're starting with Slovakian folk song on page 44. For Slovakian folk song, we're going to add a new tonality and a new meter. So go ahead and just play this song with me. We're in E major. Do is E, melody starts on so, do, mi, so. Duple meter. Do, day, do, play with me. this uh, in E minor. We've done this, we've done E minor numerous times before. So we can go ahead and play in the parallel minor. Notice that the accompaniment is going to feel the same because do, ti, do become la, si, la on the same keys. So go ahead and play this in E minor. And then we're going to play it in a new meter. Because we're audiating this in divisions, do to data, do to data, do to data, do to day, it's going to make it a little bit more interesting to put this in triple meter. Do da di do. So I'm thinking uh, here's one way that you could do the rhythm. There are many choices. Do to di to do to di to do to di to do to da. Do to di to do to di to do to di to do to da. Something like. There, there are lots of different things that you could do. You can also go back one level and just do do de do de do de do think of it in microbeats but i'd like for you to try making this into triple meter with our same macro beat so 
I'll be interested to see what you come up with. There are, there are several different ways that you could go with this, so I want to know what you try. So that's one choice. Do to d to do to d to do to d to do to da. I want to see what you do. So go ahead and try that. Play around with that in triple meter. And then show me what you did when we have our check-in. So mark today's date by both of those. If you were totally flummoxed by trying this in triple meter, that's fine. We will look at it together. You don't have to worry about the tonic dominant tonic arpeggios in A major and F sharp minor because we finished reviewing those last time. So I'm going to play you our new keyboard piece for today. We did this as a song to sing. And if you came through any Suzuki ever, Suzuki training, you know this song very, very well. Go ahead and move to macro beats. Decide if this is in duple or triple meter. duple meter. Is the tonality major or minor? This is in major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? Echo these rhythm patterns, please. Do they do echo me? Do they do do they do? Do they do they do they do? Do they, do they, do? Let's think about the, the rhythm pattern category for that last pattern. Do they, do they, do? So that's an elongation pattern because of our do. It's the length of two macro beats at the end of the pattern. Let's chant those first two rhythm patterns as a statement and response. So I will chant, I'd like for you to chant the first rhythm pattern, do, day, do, do, day, do, and I'll pick it up and chant the second pattern. Remember that this is a pass the torch kind of activity, so you don't just chant do, day, do, do, day, do. Hopefully we're not usually chanting like that anyway, but you want to be handing this off to me. Ready, chant. Do, day, do, do, day, do. Do day do day do day do. Now we're gonna switch. I'll hand it off to you. You get to finish with do day do day do day do. Here I go. Do day do do day do do day do day do day do. There's not one way that you can do that with your voice, but just pick up where I left off. Let's chant the rhythm patterns from the B part of the song as a statement and response. So if you noticed, we had from a long time ago when we've done this and also from hearing it now, you're noticing that we have some an A part of the song that just keeps on coming back. Bum, 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 bum. And then we have some different endings for that. And then we have a middle part of the song, a B part that does something totally different. The rhythm pattern for that is do, day, do, day, do, day, do. So can you go ahead and chant that, chant that rhythm pattern and then hand it off to me. So ready, chant. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. And it sounds like I'm trying to hand it off to you again because that's what the B part of the song does. So I'm going to hand it off to you, and I want you to be ready to hand it off to the end of the song. We're going to leave it hanging in midair. Here I go. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, do, day, do, day, do, day, do, do, day, do, do, day, do. Makes us want to finish the song. Let's go ahead and finish then. We're going to do the last part of the song. Do, day, do, do, day, do, and you're going to finish it with do, day, do, day, do. Okay? 
Do day do do day do do day do day do. Whole song. All right, let's do some tonal patterns from this song. I'm gonna sing them in a different key. Do so me do ti do so me so me fa re fa re do me. Do, mi, so, so, do, so, do. So we're going to listen for the first two tonal patterns together, and I'm going to show you where those patterns happen. So, mi, fa, re. If you want to try to find them yourself, go ahead and close your eyes or look away. If you'd like some help, you can take a look and I'll show you where those are. I'm going to sing it. Whoop, I'm getting a little sharp. So me do ti Bum, bum, bum. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, 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 ba. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 ba, ba, ba. So those patterns are the beginning of our A part. So mi mi fa re re. And then we do several different, we do different endings with that. Three different endings, in fact. So let's listen for where we hear do mi so. Listen for where that happens in the song. Bum 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 ba 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 bum. So that was signaling the ending of our second A part and our third A part, or halfway through the song and at the very end of the song. So in our second A part, do, mi, so, so, mi, and then we heard our last tonal pattern at the end of the song, do, mi, so, so, do. The end of the first A part, it's just a scale going from do up to so. So you could maybe have thought of do, re, mi, fa, so, so, so. You could have heard do, to, mi, to, so, so, so. You could hear that as a do, mi, so. Or you could hear it as a pattern from do on up to so, so, so. A couple of different ways to hear that. All right, go ahead and come to the piano. Now we're in G major. So put yourself in a comfortable position. You're in the middle of the keyboard. Let's play springtime one in G major to get your tonality and keyality. box we're in duple meter major tonality do is G melody starts on so let's play and sing our tonal patterns from the song so me fa re do mi so so do So go ahead and prepare a hand and fingers. You're going to play the melody in both hands. If you want to start with your right hand, that's fine. Start with your left hand, that's fine too. Think the starting key, audiate a rhythm introduction, like a do, de, do, do, de, do, and then play the first part chanting microbeats. So like this, do, de, do, do, de, do, 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 do. So go ahead and do that. Audiate an introduction to do day do's. 
play the first pattern, the first A part, while you chant the micro beats. Now let's do the same thing for the second A part. Go ahead and play with me. Do or listen. Do day do here we go. Elongation, two macro beats. Go ahead and play that if you didn't play with me just now. B part starts on A. Do day do play or listen. A do day do day do day do day do day do day do day. Play if you didn't play with me just now. And we're ready for the ending part. Ready, play. Do day, 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 do day. Two rhythm patterns, of two macro beats at the end. Let's play the whole piece. Do day, do play with me. Let's go ahead and learn our chord changes. Do, ti, or do, so. Either way is fine. I'm going to play do and ti. So just notice where these chord changes are. You can listen or play the melody while I play the chord changes and put your focus on these chord changes. chord changes with me using do and T for do and so. try hands together while we play one last time. Do day do play with me. about our assignments for this unit. So number one, you're going to do pattern CD track 30. We have so many new pattern CD tracks for this book. So pattern CD track 30 and the book three audio tracks 31 through 32. So pattern CD track 30, book three audio tracks 31 through 32. That's our song to sing that we're going to do next time and lightly row. Number two, our keyboard geography and technique. Page 49, left side, numbers one and two. 
Number three, improv, page 49, left side, both of them. Both of the improv activities over here. Number four, review units 14 and 15. Number five, lightly row on page 50. And number six, the tonal pattern project on page 61. I'd like for you to do projects one and two on page 61. I know that if you've been doing the videos all the way through this book, we've done these before with different tracks. I'd like for you to use tracks five and 18 for both projects. So that's four different things to do. Track five for project one, track 18 for project one, track five for project two, and track 18 for project two. And that's what I want you to be for. And I want you to get the most out of this that we can before we're done with the book, which is coming up presently. So projects one and two, tracks five, and 18. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano, Book 3, Unit 16A, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks! Bye!